and welcome back to another episode of Creature Features. I'm Lee, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already, it really helps me out. Now today I'm catching up with JP from JP's Pet Nation to talk about his move from um, hobbyist to supplier and about his company in Burton Nation. So let's go over to him and say hello. Hello guys, JP from JP's Pet Nation, hope you're doing absolutely amazing. First off guys, I'd like to thank Lee for this opportunity to let me go on his channel and talk about InventNation.co.uk. He's an absolutely amazing guy. If you're not subscribed to him, subscribe, go down below and subscribe to him. Also turn the notification bell on guys for him. It helps him out a lot, hit all, and you'll be notified of his amazing videos. He doesn't just make invert videos, he makes reptiles and so much more. Go down below, give him some love guys. It's really gonna help him out and give him a subscribe. All right guys, with all that said, um, Lee reached out to me on Instagram and he's like, JP, do you want to take part in this interview? And collaboration it's like okay fair dues i'll do that and he sent me some questions to answer so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to answer them to truthfully and the best of my ability and i'm going to be quite open with you guys and this is the first time i've ever done an interview about invert nation at uk normally i keep jp's pet nation uh youtube channel obviously invert nation not uk separate and all that but this is the first time a like, youtube has actually questioned me about it so it's gonna be pretty cool and like i say i'm not gonna hold back i'm gonna tell you the truth i'm gonna make it entertaining so with that said Let's get on today's video. Okay, so straight into the first question. What made you decide to go from keeper to a supplier? First question is, what made me take the leap from keeping to supplying? First of all, I'm still a, I'm still a keeper myself. I'm still an invert keeper, and that's not going to change. I'm going to always have my inverts. Um, I'll be honest with you, my inverts needs come before anything. Um, invert nation and as myself my own opinion this is we will never sell a wild caught animal straight away we'll always put it in quarantine for four weeks beforehand just so we make sure it's been treated it's got healthy and it's eating and drinking under us um yes we will lose money this way and obviously we're going to lose more stock but the fact is i would love my inverts to go to loving homes where they are healthy and they're happy and obviously if you buy from us you're going to know what you're going to get i'm still a keeper guy myself i just want you to notice i still keep invest myself i keep over 300 different species of inverts for invert nation but my own collection i've got about 100 species uh from assassin bugs tarantulas prey mantises blue death beetles predator beetles tiger beetles and so much more so i'm still a hobbyist as well but invert nation as is this way my hobby is this way and most truthfully i'll be honest with you like i said guys i will be 100 percent truth with you the most important thing to me guys is not the money it's not the website it's the inverts needs and if they're healthy and they're happy then they're going to be sent off. Um, it was a big step. I don't. I don't know how it even came around. I think one day I, I thought, well, let's go and do some shows, and then it just took off from there. To be honest, and uh, 2019 came. I did um, two shows in 2019. I did Birmingham and I did Bristol. Pretty amazing shows. The sport I got was absolutely unreal. Um, so yeah, I thought, why not offer inverts at a cheaper price, a reliable supplier, and someone who actually cares about this hobby as well not just thinking about the money that's like oh let's get all this this and this in i'm thinking what's best for the hobby as well like i'm bringing in some quite rare species of assassin bugs um this is going to benefit the uk hobby so much more than getting into cheaper ones so that makes sense because that's going to bring in a new species of assassin bugs they bring a new species to the uk hobby and it's going to make the market better in there as well if you bring more species in and also guys the more you're breeding in captivity in the uk the less you got to import the less stress on the animals as well so it's all really is pretty good to be honest so yeah basically it was just my look that um i got into the business and like i said i went to a couple of shows worked a couple of shows myself my own tables with invert nation and then voila invert nation.co.uk was made up because people wanted a website to get them from um, yeah, so that's basically my long but short answer. So I love that, you know, he's so passionate about it because he's a keeper himself and he loves the inverts, he loves the inverts that he keeps. Um, so my second question for you would be, what's going to make your company different to the other ones we already know and love? There's so many out there that we already use and, and that are providing service. What's going to stand out and make you different? What makes my company different to the ones you know out there already? One important thing what makes us different, yeah? Not that we're cheap, not that we try and get captive bred in as much as we can. We try and avoid wild caught when we can. But the one big difference is I'm a hobbyist as well. I keep my animals myself. I do not overstock. I do not overdo myself. 
I keep a small number of stock, so therefore I can health check them before they go out. Not a lot of companies do that. Dead on arrival are always guaranteed as well. So if you get a dead on arrival, we will always refund you if there's proof that in the first 12 hours that they actually have been dead on arrival. And mostly, but the most important thing to us, we'll never send an invert we are not 100% happy with. Even if it was 99% happy, we will not be sending it. Um, great example is a guy brought a pokey off me the other day and um, I was going to send it off this week for him. But I chose not to because she looked a bit weird. She went off her food and she wasn't drinking and she was looking a bit, tiny, tiny bit bad. Um, she didn't look very happy. So I was like, look, you can have your money back. I'm not sending some what I don't think is 100%. Uh, now she's perfectly fine and happy. But he got his money back. My, I still got my pokey, which as a business is a loss. But the fact is that I'm not happy to send out animals what uh, aren't 100%. I try and avoid wild caught if I can. I try and keep it captive bred as much as I can in the UK as well. Helps the UK hobby as well. And also, it's a lot better for the inverts themselves as well because it's less stress on importing and less stress on bringing animals that won't survive from wild caught just because we want them. Do you know what I mean? So I try and keep it that way. So that's a couple of things that make us different. Another thing that makes a difference is the most important thing is it's the hobby. I'm a hobbyist. Everyone who works here is a hobbyist as well. So we put them animals' welfare before anything else. We don't go shipping everything out. We won't ship to Europe, we won't ship to America, we won't do any brown boxing like uh, people send them legally to places like Australia. We don't do that stuff. We are all about the inverts. We will spend that more, we'll spend that bit more money on posting as well. Packaging, posting, uh, make sure it's signed before 1 at p.m. UK time as well. We do all this for them inverts and also to help our customers as well. Our customers don't want to be stuck in all day. Um, so that's why we do it this way. They want to be... Look, it's on. If you send out Tuesday, it's going to be if you Wednesday before one one p.m. Guaranteed. We also don't ship out on Fridays because we don't want our invets to be in travel for the weekend as well. So that's one thing that makes us different. But again, I, I get on with a lot of the big companies out there as well. I get on with the owners of them, and we just want to stand out for different reasons, not for the bad reasons, just for the good reasons. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I absolutely love how passionate you are and, uh, you know, how much you, it shows that you care about the inverts and that, you know, it doesn't seem like it's just a business for you and it's about making money. It's about, um, you know, the, the, the level of care for the inverts and that really shows through and I really admire that. Um, but one question I've got is, because you're a keeper of inverts and now you're supplying inverts, do you keep one of everything that you order in or do you have to be really strict with yourself and say, no, this is just for the company? Question three, this is a really good one. Uh, short answer, uh, my inverts are kept to what I want. As a supplier, it's completely different. So as a supplier, you get your numbers in. So obviously you've got to uh, cater, cater for everyone. But as my own inverts, now, I do not double up stock. So if I've got a GBB and I've only got one, that's it, I've only got one. But if it's Invert Nation at Credit UK, I will always buy stock what I think is going to be fast selling, good selling quality, what people want, and also what's going to be sold. This is the hard part for me as a hobbyist. I would love to get um, rarer things in, but they're not going to sell because people aren't going to want to spend 200, 300 pounds on an invert within the last three years. So as a hobbyist, it is really hard to take the hobby from the business. The business side is you need quick, fast selling, cheap stuff with some expensive, rare stuff. As a hobbyist, you want everything you can get hold of, don't you? You want the rare ones, you want the the harder to come across, you know what I mean? But in reality, they won't sell, so it is really hard. Um, as you asked me, do I double up on my numbers? No, not on my own stock, no. Um, obviously, things like assassin bugs, I do keep all year round. I do also sell them as well, but that's from my own colony, or I I bring, buy them from a UK breeder. There's only one UK breeder I buy from, and he's an absolutely amazing breeder. And yeah, basically, yeah, it's it's a complicated one to have that business from that hobbyist. The hobbyist wants me to have all these animals, but the business wants me to have all these. Do you know what I mean? It's really, really is complicated. And obviously, we've got to think from the business side, what sells, best sellers, cheapest, if you can get it. Also, it's it's more complicated. So hopefully that answered your question. It wasn't really good, but it answered your question. Yeah, so it sounds like you've got great work, work ethics there. Um, I mean, if it was me... Everything I'd be ordering, I'd want to keep. I'd be going, no, that's for me, that's for me, that's for me. Nobody's getting anything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got to be hard because you're going to fall in love with everything you get in, especially if it is a little bit different you've ordered it in for somebody. 
Um, so my next question for you would be, um, where do you see your company this time next year? Is there anything exciting in the pipeline that we can look forward to, that we can see from you as a supplier? Where do I see invertnation.co.uk being in one year time? This is simple guys. Uh, our 2020 plan is to extend the company, to make it a, from a hobby to a business. We're going to be attending more shows. We're going to be attending every single show we can get to. We might even go to Scotland if we can. We are going to be having a huge makeover in our garage. We're going to be insulating it. We're going to be putting light in there. We're going to be putting a floor in there. We're going to have a 15 foot building dedicated to our inverts, our packing system. Um, and everything like that. This is a business plan what's expanding. It's not just happened overnight like that. It's took years of planning to get to where we want. 2020 is going to be the year where in that nation that could UK is going to expand. We're going to have that building, we're going to have that facility to keep more invets in a short period of time. We're going to have a place to pack them. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And we're also going to be doing all them shows. We are looking at adding mystery boxes. So guys, at the moment we've got uh, several mystery boxes. We've got a Scorpion mystery box. We've got a £25 mystery box, invert mystery box. We've got a Trentula mystery box. We've got a £50 mystery box. These are only small steps. We are looking to get more different animals in, so we're going to do these massive mystery boxes. We're also offering uh, adult tarantula mystery boxes. There is so much going off at the moment, but 2020 is the year for invetnation.co.uk to expand. We are looking to expand that as a business itself. Obviously, as a YouTuber myself, JP's Pet Nation is a completely different brand to Invert Nation. These are completely different brands, okay? The YouTube side, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing the same as what I normally do. I'm just going to go travel in the UK, going to zoos, getting to feed some really crazy animals, showing you my invert, I'm just showing you around the sh shows, meeting some YouTubers and just having a laugh and having a good time. But as a business plan, we have got a, uh, a really big 2020 plan in there. And the biggest and the most important thing is having that um, garage set up and ready to go so we can move all our stock into there and get all our racking system into there and we can have everything in one spot. Keep eye on numbers of stock, we can keep eye on uh, inverts better as well, and also we can separate the business from the hobbies as well. Keep all my animals, what I have in the hobby, in my house, and have the business side out there. So, yeah, that's basically it. There's not a lot going enough, if I'm honest with you guys. Um, that's about it. There's only a couple of things what are going to be changing in 2020, but obviously, we want your feedback as well. So, if you can give you give me your feedback as well. That's the best way. The more you buy, the more money we will invest into this company and the bigger it will get. Um, I'll be honest with you, InvertNation.co.uk has took off really fast. I can't lie to you guys. We're sending 30 parcels a week off at the moment, which is turned from a hobby to a business just like that. So we're trying to adapt as well. Yes, things can go wrong, like dead on arrival or the Royal Mail messes someone up or a tarantula or invert skates. But this is all about making your experience the best we can and making inverts experience the best we can less stress for the inverts less stress for you less stress for me and that's the best way to go so 2020 is the year of the nation hope that answers your question it sounds like we're all going to be able to expect a lot from you in the next year um it's going to be great to see you at the shows so which shows can we catch you at next which show are you going to be at next See, last question, guys, is will I have any stores at any of the upcoming invert shows? Short answer, no. Long answer, maybe. I might be doing Brighton if I can. It's just literally if and when I can. Um, obviously, I get on with Jason from Invert Shows. He's absolutely amazing. Um, invert Shows are one of the best out there. If you're not, if you're not been to one, check them out on Facebook. They're absolutely amazing. But there is one show I'm guaranteed to be going to this year, and that's the Not A Game show in December. I am going to be trading there, guys. So that's going to be pretty cool. But more information will come off that. But, I, but as a trader, that's the only one I'm going to. But as a um, hobbyist, I am going to go to the show this weekend, which is Brighton show. Uh, not Brighton, Brentford. Is it Brentford? I don't know. Depending on when this video comes out, it's one of them. Uh, I am going to be there. I'm going to go to Doncaster as well, which is this month as well so yeah they're the only shows i'm going to go to as a buyer as a just to see people as well because again this is a hobbyist i made so many friends from this hobby as well people like peter webster for example is absolutely amazing he's one of the my, one of my close friends and he is absolutely amazing and i just love seeing him people like princess safe pink as well she is a youngster who's got into this hobby and she loves it she enjoys it so why not 
go and enjoy the hobby with the people who enjoy it. So you've got the old, you've got the new, and you've got the experience. What else do you want in the hobby? All right, guys. Well, hopefully we'll catch you at the Brighton show, as that's the only one that I will be attending this year. Um, you might be able to see me hanging around this stall, you never know. Um, thank you for taking part. It's been an absolute pleasure to uh, to hear where the company's going to be going and, and hear about your new venture. I hope it goes well for you. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting to see where things are going to go. So thank you again. Thank you so much, Lee, for this experience to come to your channel to talk about my company. I hope you liked it. Again, I was truthful with you. This was not scripted. There was nothing written down. I just told you how I feel and the truth what come from me as well. Um, hope you liked it, guys. Please remember to subscribe to Lee. Give him some love down there, but down below. Give him some love with your beautiful faces. This is JP's Pet Nation slash InvertNation.co.uk. Signing out. Have a good time. Peace. Boom. Boom. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.